A close call on Victoria's Johnson Street Bridge at about this time last night highlights safety concerns for pedestrians. Last night, an elderly woman was struck by the E&N Dayliner. Police say she was trying to avoid a cyclist on the bridge. Now, her injuries were not serious, but she was taken to the hospital as a precaution. The city of Victoria is currently doing a technical study looking at possible improvements to the existing bridge, but at least one councillor says the bridge must be replaced to make it a safer crossing for pedestrians and cyclists and everyone. The signs are clear, but not everyone heeds the warnings posted on the Johnson Street Bridge. Sometimes when I'm riding on the street, it can be stressful with the vehicles. It gets a little narrow in some spots, and I just about got off up there by the post where it gets really narrow, and it's the first time I've met anybody right at that post. This cyclist says signs suggesting riders dismount are probably intended to prevent people from falling under the train. That nearly happened to an elderly pedestrian who was clipped by the ENN Dayliner Monday night. Victoria police say she may have been trying to avoid a cyclist. The train was just pulling out. It had just dropped the passengers off, and the lady was walking alongside and um, just crossed the yellow line separating the pedestrians from the train. Police say the woman's injuries were not life-threatening, but she was taken to hospital as a precaution. What would you like to see happen here? Uh, change. Uh, you know, really what we've got uh, is uh, a bridge that's uh, designed for uh, cars and trucks with the railway attached. Victoria Councillor John Luton says he'd like to see a purpose-built bridge, such as this rolling bascule design, one that accommodates all modes of transportation and pedestrians safely. The City of Victoria had planned to replace the Blue Bridge, but after thousands of people signed petitions calling for a referendum on borrowing the money required, the replacement option was put on hold. Now, City Council is spending more than $800,000 on a technical study to identify the costs associated with repairing the 85-year-old bridge. Part of the technical study underway right now looking at the rehabilitation option includes the possibility of building a separate bridge to the north of the Johnson Street Bridge. It would be designated specifically for cyclists and pedestrians. And that would leave the, the rail bridge uh, to be entirely a rail bridge uh, unto its own. And then that way we can make a, a true, truer comparison in terms of a replacement option and a re rehabilitation option. A consultant's report is expected to be presented to City Council in June. And until changes are made, safety will remain a concern. In Victoria, Eric Thompson, A News.